Hello, and welcome to our lesson on performing and describing translations. To translate an object, we need a translation vector. And a translation vector describes a horizontal movement and a vertical movement. If we're moving the shape to the right, the, the top number is a positive. If we're moving it to the left, the top number is negative. And the number below this describes the vertical movement. If we're moving it up, it is positive. And if we're moving it down, it is negative. So for question A, we're moving object A five to the right and five down. To do this, I pick a vertex on object A at any vertex, and I'm going to show one, two, three, four, five to the right, and one, two, three, four, five down. On this vertex here, I'm translating to this point. And from here, I can simply draw the shape out again so the vertices match up. To check that this works, I'm going to pick a different vertex in this corner, and the same translation should match it to the corresponding vertex on the object. So that is one, two, three, four, five to the right, and one, two, three, four, five down. Okay, let's try question B. For question B, we're moving object B four units to the left and four units down. Because this is a negative four, as is this. So we have object B. I'm going to move this vertex four to the left, one, two, three, and four, and four down, one, two, three, and four. So from this point, I'm going to redraw the shape. I can check it works using a different vertex. I'm going to pick this one. And I move it four to the left, one, two, three, four, and four down, one, two, three, four. You can see that is a correct translation. Okay, do you want to pause the video and try and translate questions C and D? And you can resume the video when you're ready. Okay, for question C, I'm going to pick a vertex here. And the vector 1, 8 is 1 unit to the right and 8 units up. So I'm going to move this vertex 1 unit to the right and 8 units up. And from here, I'm going to redraw the shape. I can check that this is right by picking a different vertex. I'll choose this vertex here. I move 1 to be right and eight up. And you can see that works. Okay, let's try question D. For question D, I'll pick this vertex here. I'm moving it seven units to the right and four units up. Now I can redraw the shape. And finally, I'm gonna check it works by choosing a different vertex and performing the same translation of seven units to the right and four units up. And you can see that that works. Okay, so we have performed translations. Let's learn how to describe them. To describe a translation, we're going to start at object A, which is here. I will choose this vertex. And we're going to match the same vertex on object B, which is here. And we have a horizontal movement on top. We're moving to the right, so it'll be a positive of one, two, three, four, five, six. And we're moving up, so that'll be also the positive, one, two, three. So the translation vector is six, three. From object A, I'll choose this vertex now to object C. Same vertex on object C. And I'm going one, two, three, four, five, and six. So six to the right and one, two, three, four, five down. So minus five. Do you want to try and describe the translations that will map A onto D and E onto F? By pausing the video and you can resume it when you're ready. For object A, I'm going to choose this vertex and we're mapping it on to D, which will be the same vertex on the object. And we're going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 8, 9, 10, 11, 
12, 13, 14 units to the right. And the vertical translation is zero, so it is 14, zero. And finally, for question four, from E to F, we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine to the left, which is negative nine, and one, two, three, four, four up, so negative nine and four. Okay, thank you very much for watching. I hope you find that useful. Thanks again and take care.